I'm trying to have these conversations with Christians because they speak a lot of love and compassion and yeah. respect, which is all lip service, unless you actually apply it. You care more about animals than people. I care about the victims. What victims? Animals are the victims. But they have no higher consciousness. Says who? God? Yes. So God gave them a brain. And science. So why did God give them a brain, no consciousness? Don't, don't, put, don't put your finger down, mate. Excuse me. Excuse excuse me. Put your excuse finger me. down, buddy. Excuse me. All right, so you want to act like a hero, do you? Would Jesus Christ work in a slaughterhouse decapitating animals? Um, I mean, that's a cop out because we're talking I about animals so. being decapitated here. I don't have a problem with that, though. <laughs> How do you do. know God's not working through me right now? Because you've just said you're not baptized. <laughs>
So what do you think of uh, factory farming in, in Australia today? So mostly animals in farrowing crates being tortured, they get killed in gas chambers, the pigs, which causes them immense suffering. I don't think that's completely accurate. So, well, I've been an animal rights activist for seven years, so I know exactly what happens. That's it, that's and you're, how long have you been Christian for? All my life. All your life. And do you, what, are, what are the values of Jesus Christ? The values of Jesus Christ is to worship uh, God the Father. Isn't Jesus Christ also God? Yes. Okay. And um, what do you think? Is, would you say love, compassion, respect, justice are values of Jesus Christ? I've heard him speak of those things. Yes, to okay. each man, yes. But not to animals? Well, animals are placed under us for our own uh, benefit to eat. <laughs> well, I, heard, I hear the words labor. dominion, but I don't hear um, torture dominion, and, and dominion mass means, kill. Um, dominion means angels. Okay, but dominion can, when you have dominion over the earth, that yeah. doesn't mean to destroy the earth, does it? Um, does it? What do you mean by destroy? Who's destroying it? I'm saying the word dominion doesn't necessarily yeah, I'm entail... I'm asking you a question. Yeah. How are we destroying the earth? Through animal agriculture. I disagree completely. You disagree I with scientific consensus? Um, I don't like the term scientific consensus because there is no such thing. Okay, well... well science science is, is stating a hypothesis okay. and attempting to either prove okay. or disprove it. Let me ask you, is torturing animals Christian? Who's torturing the animals? Uh, the, do you want me to show you? Yeah. Okay. I can show you what happens in uh, the meat industry. I mean, have you ever seen... What, you mean, what meat industry? Australian what is, meat industry. Okay, that's, that's fine. I mean, it's who's, a, the, who's the actual owner of the factory? There's... Factories all over... No, 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 over. I'm asking a specific... Um, all of them? No, no, no. I'm, talk, I'm saying every factory farm. I doubt that, seriously. I'm asking... 80% for... of pigs... Yeah, I've seen this footage before. And actually. is this Christian? What this are they gas doing? They're gassing... Well, they, of course they're gassing them. How else do you want to kill them? With, well, I don't want to kill them at all. That's the point. They're trying to... They're struggling in CO2 gas. Is that Christian? Well, I don't know what's happening. All, all I know is I know, that you... I can you, tell you, you if you want to... Yeah, that's great. Talking about scientific consensus, which yeah. I disagree with, okay. I would love to hear someone debate you who is just as informed as you are. On the meat industry, they would think it's an abomination. This is killing uh, chickens strung up by their That's how ankles. you kill chickens. That's you how they, that's how Australia. No, that's how you have to. You have to string them up and then break their necks. Why do you have to kill chickens? To eat them. Oh, really? Why yes. do you have to eat them? Well, otherwise you don't develop muscles and you don't grow. I you don't use your brain. I haven't oh, really? Is that why I'm stupid? Why do I have muscles? Well, because you eat a lot of legumes, I assume. I just eat enough food that my body needs. I'm bigger than you. Well, because I'm... I'm, I'm so does I'm, God say you need no, to wait, eat wait, animals? No, wait a minute, hold on. I'm a woman and I'm modjod, which means I'm Are very small. Are we on public land here? Sorry? Are we on public land here? No, you're on... public? It's okay, he's not bothering me. We're having a discussion. But you can stick around. No, I'll hang around and, and just watch if you want. Uh, if, as long as we're allowed to be here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you, brother. Where in the Bible does it say you, it's mandatory to eat meat? Um, mandatory. That's I mean an that you have word. to. Well, you don't. Does Jesus say you have to eat animals in the Bible, or does God? Well, well it's it's. <laughs> Jesus Christ doesn't talk about eating animals because he doesn't have to, and um, I suppose. There, there is, when, you have a choice. Do you have a choice? Just wondering. Yes, of course you. I suppose okay. you have a choice depending what you want to put into your body. Um, uh, Jews don't eat shellfish, for example. Or I mean, pork. does Jesus Christ give you a choice whether or not you have to eat? pigs and chickens and cows in the Australian meat industry is what I'm asking. That's 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 two separate questions. No, it's the same question. I'm asking you have a choice right now to boycott mm. these industries. That but I don't want to boycott them because I don't think they're doing anything wrong. They are demonic. They are demonic. I industries. disagree. Listen. They're torturing No, 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 the wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. When you say demonic, yeah. you are very being very flippant about something that is very real. Yeah. Okay. Well, if that's not demonic, what and is? And if you are accusing these um, these farmers of being demonic, that's Human beings can act injust in a demonic way. Sure, That's but you have to give does. them the benefit of the doubt first. So you go in with your hidden cameras instead of interviewing the actual. Of course, because they're going to lie. Human well, beings you could are easily, deceived. Well, you, you could be you know deceiving me right. You could be deceiving me right now. I've that video. That video might be from Indonesia. So you'd rather believe that the farmers who wait make money wait, than wait, me. I'm asking you a question. I do not know where that video has come from. It could come from China, Why where these standards it? are. Why don't a lot you solve the problem and look into it for yourself? So you don't have to listen to me. Brilliant, correct. And you believe I have, the Bible. I have, I have you believe into the Bible. It and I love to eat pork products and chicken products. It's from not even Australia. Christian to eat uh, pigs. Yes, it is actually. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's in the Bible. Is it? Yes, it is. The, what, the Old Testament or the New Testament? The New Testament, darling. Well, not the Old Testament, though. That's correct. So, that, so originally you weren't supposed to eat pigs. Yeah, but I'm a Christian, not a Jew. And and what about uh, the Garden of Eden? Did they eat pigs in the Garden of Eden? Probably. The Garden of Eden was vegan. It was a perfect paradise. God's perfect paradise. True? That's I, I You're a Christian, tell me, is it true? 
All I know is there were only... <laughs> yes no or no, is it true? Was it God's perfect paradise, Garden of Eden? The Garden of Eden had Adam and Eve, and that's it. They and, ate. And God gave you seed-bearing fruit. And he gave us animals for Adam to have dominion over them. To dominion do with them doesn't mean destroy and kill and mass torture. Well, okay, Why again, it's a loaded question. That? You can kill the animals to eat them. Of course you can't torture them, but I do, they are to, being I, do I do not think that they are being tortured. And, why and do I you... do not know where that video is from. Who knows where it could be from? Would an animal prefer to not be killed? An animal has no conscience. It oh. has no consciousness. Oh, really? It does not think. It only has the lowest faculties. Oh, really? It only has instinct. So animals it don't does think, not think. think. Correct. They only have instinct. And only humans think. They on, only humans have higher consciousness. And so human no, not saying higher consciousness. Do are animals sentient? They have lower consciousness. Uh, uh, are, are dogs sentient? What do you mean by sentient? Conscious. No, they are not. So dogs are not conscious. That's correct. So what are they? How are they moving around and stuff? They have a lower faculty of instinct. So there what is their two. brain for? Their brain is for moving their arms, for moving their legs, for so eating, they're mindless, for breeding. Soulless beings. They are soulless, correct? Okay. okay. They are soulless. We are the only ones. So with we can souls. torture animals. We are because not torturing them. Again, no, you're saying they're that they're torturing and Excuse you have me. no proof. Are you against torturing animals? Yes. Why if they're soulless and don't feel anything? Who cares? They're not sentient, exactly. conscious, Good they won't point. feel suffering. So I can torture animals? If you like. Okay. And so you have to deal with you God. Are, you are Christian. No, why would God care? He created them for no, us. No, he does care. <laughs> okay, so God cares about torture. Do you see how you're contradicting no, 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 yourself? No, I'm not contradicting. This is what I'm saying. So does God care about torture Can or not? Can I finish the sentence? No, because you're jumbling around. I'm not jumbling. You're jumbling around because you keep interrupting my okay. sentence. Finish your sentence. Let's say. The fifth commandment says, do not murder, correct? It's the third commandment, thou shalt not kill. The fifth commandment is, is thou shalt not kill. I'll take your Sorry, word for it. You're thou shalt not murder is I'll the murder. fifth commandment. Okay. Now, if you torture puppies and, and kittens, you're a psychopath. But you're not okay? murdering them. So it's, it's Okay, a, fair enough. If you murder... Is torture consistent with your listen, values? No, it isn't. Why not? But I, yeah, they don't feel pain. They're, they're thoughtless they feel, beings. They feel pain, but they are... They, they, they're they, thoughtless beings. They don't have a consciousness that's to experience correct. it. That's so correct. They, they don't, don't have... The con but they have pain. So who cares if I torture an animal then, by your by your uh, metric? Because they don't feel it. They're not conscious. They do, they do feel well, it, but they conscious. do not have consciousness. Well, they're not conscious. So no, you're, you're confusing conscious, as in awake, with aware. consciousness. You're confusing awake with aware. What's consciousness? Consciousness is, I think, therefore I am. You mean self-awareness? Correct. But you can still feel pain if you're not self-aware. Correct. So you're saying that human beings that have a mental handicap that are not self-aware, it's okay to torture them because they're they not self-aware. They are self-aware. Self who said that they're not self-aware? There are certain human beings who, who have less faculties than there are heaps of them. They are, they, we protect them. Wait, 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 wait. But they do not lack self-awareness. Just because you are they, stuck in your babies body. Don't like, babies lack self-awareness. What are you talking about? Of course human beings lack, certain human beings lack self-awareness. No, they don't. Of course they do. So you're saying there's certain, I'm talking about the human beings that don't, that can't conceptualize I, who they I, are. I disagree. But they are aware, they're conscious, because no, what matters? No, I disagree. I, I so, believe all human beings have self-awareness. And how do you prove that? I don't need to because God you, exists and he fills us with so his love. So did God say that animals are not self-aware? In yes. the Bible? Where? I do it doesn't say it in the Bible. Exactly. So why do you believe it? If God didn't say it? Uh, because you animals lack a higher consciousness, so they have no self -awareness. Did God say that? Why does God need to say because it? Because you believe in God. Yes. You believe in the Bible. So why are you espousing things that are not in the Bible? Are you God? I believe that there's bitumen on the road, but... but why do you, where do you, where do your beliefs stem from? Science or God? Why can't, it, why can't it be both? Or is it just intuition? Because you're making very serious claims about animals justifying their torture. That's I'm why. Not, I'm, I'm, you are justifying I'm, their torture. I'm not justifying their torture. And it says, thou shalt not murder. Can't I you? am questioning whether you are um, a bit too much of an activist and you are not looking into the truth and you are, not giving, you are not giving these farmers the respect that they deserve. Who cares about farmers? I care about rights of okay. people and so animals. You, so you if have, farmers are enslaving care, people, I don't care about the farmers you, at that point. I care about care, the victims. You care more about animals than people. I care about the victims. What victims? Animals are the victims. But they have no higher consciousness. Says who? God? Yes. So God gave them a brain. And science. So why did God give them a brain no consciousness? No, because the Declaration of... Bodies. Have you heard of the Cambridge Declaration of Consciousness? That is science. Um, well, it's... I, we'll I've post it up I've on the never, screen right I've now. Never, I've never heard of it. It's okay. There's a lot of things you don't know. And that's fine. There's a lot of things I don't know about Correct. Jesus Christ. And, and a but lot the, of things but, about the world. But you're trying you to justify know. something really horrible. And I'm saying it's the devil's work. Why don't you just look into it for yourself if you think the devil deceives people? I think you're deceiving evil? me. I think you're well, deceiving me. Well, then why don't you me. try to find out the truth? And think, but I have found out the so truth. So when you look at animals suffering, do you care? Does it hurt your heart? 
Well, of course I care because I would like... Then who gave you your heart and your conscience? The Lord did. So why do you care? So the Lord's speaking to you there? Of course. So then it's wrong? What is wrong? Torturing, cutting animals' heads off but for a sandwich. No, I disagree. So a sandwich justifies all that? Yes. Okay. I think we've, we've reached the point you of your beliefs. <laughs> you I think got they're very horrible and I don't think they're, they're, consi they're, consi oh, they're consistent with the devil. This is How demonic. How do you know? Because I just look into an animal's eyes. Are you, a, are you a Christian? There is a soul inside of animals if you believe in a soul. No, I do not believe there is a soul in and animals. And humans, that certain is, humans are soulless. That is incorrect. Demonic, all possessed creatures. They, are, they all have souls. <laughs> if you believe what the devil does is evil. Are you, are you a Christian? They're doing the devil's work. Sorry? Are you a Christian? I may or may not believe in, in God, hmm. but I may think okay, that... The, so how can you believe in the devil if you don't believe in God? I'm, I'm just fitting your belief system okay. to help you out but understand But then it doesn't that, make you make sense. Why not? Because you talk that, about the devil, but you, believe you don't in believe devil? in him. Yes, of course Exactly, I do. so I'm fitting this to fit your, your beliefs. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense because you've not done the research. So what does the devil do? If it's not those slaughterhouses and factory farms, what does the devil do? The devil, let's see. He committed the sin of pride and fell because he wanted to be God. Okay. And so he tricks people into going into hell rather than heaven. Okay. So he spends all his time tricking people into thinking that there is no God. Okay. And he's no. worked it on you. I never said there's no God. You said you don't have the same beliefs that I do. The Bible. That's, the, uh, that's theism. I never said I didn't believe in God. But you have to believe in the Bible to believe in God. Who says who? The Lord, for it is his word. I can speak to God without needing a book written by people but and changed you know over time. You're speaking to who God wrote the New saying... Testament? Who wrote the New Testament then? Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Why, why the hell do I care about their, them over God? Well, because the God, because the God Holy Spirit over, spoke to them. God is over, over everyone, yes? Correct. Exactly. So I'll speak to God myself through my heart. But how do you know you're speaking to God? How do you know you're not speaking to the devil when, you, when they trick you into thinking animals don't suffer? Because I pray unceasingly and I go to confession and Holy okay. Communion and make sure okay. that um, my, my soul is pure so I can listen to the Holy Spirit's promptings. Okay. Then why are you espousing things that aren't even in the Bible, like animals aren't self-aware so we can torture them? Do you think that's responsible? Where in the Bible does it say that animals are self-aware? Exactly, it doesn't, but you were saying it like it was in the Bible. No, but it's scientific. That they have no higher consciousness. Let me ask you this. Would, would Jesus Christ work in a slaughterhouse decapitating animals? Um, I don't like Jesus to is watching. take... I don't... I know he is. I don't really like to take historical figures and place them out of their context. So let's just say hypothetically... Instead based on of, his values, logically. In, in, based in, on his in, values. Instead of Jesus being a carpenter, let's say he was a farmer. Um, yes, that he would have sheep, let's say, for example, or goats, and he would kill them in order to eat. And certainly at the temple, there were... I've never um, seen anything in the Bible where Jesus was cutting animals' heads off to eat them. Maybe something about fish, but that could have been a mistranslation from fishweed, which was commonly consumed back then. But, like, in this nativity scene, he doesn't have knives in their neck. They don't have knives in their neck. Maybe the people around Jesus... What do, but... what do you think happens when they go to the temple to give sacrifice? I thought Jesus flipped over the table in that temple because he didn't want the animals to be harmed. <laughs> no, no, no. It's because of the money changers he flipped the tables okay. because they were using the temple so to, enough... um, to trade. Okay. So, to, what... Answer my question. You, you, do you think Jesus' values are consistent with back factory farms and slaughterhouses of today? I think uh, Australian farmers go out of their way to make sure that they love and treat their animals with uh, That's respect. That's not the answer to the question I'm looking for. They don't love and treat the animals with respect. They're they selling do. their body parts. How is that respect? Would that be respectful for you? If I sold your body parts? Well, the animal is bred exclusively to be eaten. And ah. if, the, if the animal is not eaten, then it is never bred. So they're not God's animals then? So the animal would not exist at all. So they're not God's animals. They're human created. Actually, funny that you should mention that. They are. Okay, so they're selectively bred by human beings. Correct. Okay, so they're not even, uh, like, it's not even consistent with God's way. Well, it is because he gave us dominion yeah, so over animals. And so we have bred them uh, to eat. Dominion means selectively breed them into... Correct. So we can be selfish with what comes off their body. I don't think we're being selfish. Well, they want to live. They don't want to die. But, how, but they wouldn't live at all if we weren't going to eat them. So it's okay to create beings yes. as long as we kill them and eat them. It's okay to create living beings and when we can eat plants, that God also gave us. If you want to eat plants, you want you can. I used to be a vegetarian myself. Um, Do you think plants suffer? This will be good. Do plants suffer? Well, they don't have any nervous system. Fantastic. Um, wow. I didn't expect that, actually. What do you mean? Many people would just say, well, they do, but you just can't prove it. Some what people do, do say that. They say that plants feel pain. Why would they feel pain? Exactly. They don't have any need to. They're stuck in the ground. God wouldn't create them like that. 
God created plants not to feel pain, but animals to feel pain. Doesn't that tell you everything you need to know? Hmm, that's actually an interesting philosophical question. Why would God create plants to not be sentient, scream in pain, not have brains, not have nervous systems, but animals to have all those things? Well, if we because were I suppose them? they're in a different... Um, Think about it. I suppose because they're different... What's the word? Uh, not genus, not species, but, um, you know, vegetable, animal, mineral. Vegetable, animal, mineral. Different. They don't want to die. Have you seen a dog cower when someone's trying to boot them or a pig cower when someone's trying to hurt them? Well, they, they, don't don't know. they don't know they're dying. No, but neither does a baby. It's not okay to kill babies. Correct. Just because they don't know doesn't mean it's okay to torture them, exploit them and dominate I, but them. I don't they're vulnerable I, but I don't, agree, I don't agree with the premise that they're being tortured. Does, well, then you don't know the industry. I'm seven years an animal rights activist. We do these investigations all the time. We stick cameras in to watch the devil at work. Stop playing. Stop saying devil, because we know we both. Do I sound know like the devil to you? Do I sound no, like espousing the devil's work, no. compassion and vulnerable animals and defending the innocent? Are these things the devil cares about? Of course not. <laughs> if that's what the devil cares about, what does God care about? What does Jesus devil, care about? The, the devil cares about about making you the center of your universe, which I think he has done very successfully. I just said about God being over. But you don't Matthew believe Matthew and Luke that. and all these people who wrote the New but Testament. But you don't believe that. How do you know what I believe? How do you know what I believe? Because you've never read the Bible. There's also the Quran. There's also... Oh, the Quran is now that? No, now there's that also... I'm not a Muslim. <laughs> I'm not, no, but it's everyone's religion against each other, but they all answer to God. So why not just go but straight to the, the source? Why not to, there's only one God. Yes, but so what but, are you talking about? But polytheism is um, we and, all, and paganism we, we is all should um, be under the same worshiping god. something that's not God. We all should be under the same God. Well, I okay. agree. So I God's agree. above you, your yes. words, your books. Yes. We worship books more than we worship God's animals. Well, speak for yourself. I d of course, I don't worship animals. That's a, that's a bit. Why absurd. would you worship a book more than Why, the values of Jesus Christ? But I don't. Christ? I don't. I don't worship. Why a don't book? you just look at the values of Jesus Christ? But I don't worship a book. Okay. Well, you said if you don't believe in the Bible, you don't believe in God. That's... That's not true. Yeah, but it, the, the Bible is the, the Word of God. It's the Word of humans. No, it's the Word of God. The Word of Matthew, Luke, and who? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. It is the Couldn't Word of God. I care less about their words. I care, yeah, but I it's care the about Word God. of God. Because I would care more about God than human beings who create but books it, but in But it's in, the in Word of God. Do you understand how the Holy Spirit Evidence? works? Evidence? Have you been baptised? Do you have evidence that those... Wait, 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 no, this is a serious question. Have uh, you been baptised? I don't know. I can ask my mum. My name's Joseph. What's your last name? Armstrong. Armstrong. So, um... My name is Joseph, though. Yeah, but, um... My Protestant dad got that name out of the Bible. But Protestant or Catholic? Your I parents? Know. I don't know. Catholic, maybe. So, what, you went to, to a public school? No, no, I didn't go to... I didn't go to school often. Can you give me the lady off the... Off the step? Yeah, she's got to that's pretty pathetic though, isn't it though? It's like one little centimetre. She's actually been, I'm interviewing her, she's standing off, so I'm your problem, not her. But yeah, one step is like fine, but that's pretty pathetic though, man, eh? Just saying. Come on, do you want to come, you can keep no, talking if, to if me. if this is where I'm protected, then, then this is where I want to stay. She's on private land, she's not, I'm on public land. So you don't know if you've been baptised, so you've definitely not been confirmed. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Which I mean, is interesting, because I've, I've, I've had this very interesting experience talking to people who've never been baptised. Because they, have, they don't have the Holy Spirit in, within them, they're completely clueless about God. You can talk and talk and talk about the Lord and it just goes completely over their heads. You weren't talking about the Lord at all. You were talking about the Bible. You are talking about self-awareness of animals. I mean. This is what I mean. Because he's not been baptised, he will never understand. You were, you were talking about animals not having consciousness. You weren't talking about the, uh, anything about God's words, except for you, you mentioned thou shalt not murder. Thou shalt not murder animals. No, I said, thou shalt not murder is the fifth commandment. Yeah, okay. Thou shalt not murder Why don't you follow people. that? Why don't you follow that? I, I've never murdered anyone. You pay so. people to murder animals in slaughterhouses. But I, don't, I don't agree that they're being murdered. <laughs> Look up the definition of murder. There's about six that apply to animals. Mm, I think they're being... You're going to use human I language. I think they're being slaughtered for us to eat. Yeah, why, what's the difference between slaughter and murder? The word is a different connotation. Slaughter meaning to slaughter an animal... Um, well, to consume. I just told you, are you using definitions of human words now? Because there's about six definitions that apply to animals. I can pop them up on the screen. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to see the screen though. <laughs> What's your YouTube channel? <laughs> well, 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 you can just look them up yourself. Like you have, YouTube, you have God's gift. You can look through 
these words. So is Do the, five seconds of research. You'll find these things out. I'm saying the, thou shalt not murder. The, why don't you follow it? Is the aim to evangelize me right now? No, the aim is to have you list, live, living consistent with, I believe, good values, which are love, compassion, respect, and justice, and that should apply to animals as well, seeing as they feel pain and suffer and plants do not. So that's clear to me what okay. God's plan is. Okay, and I agree with you, but I disagree on the premise that animals are being tortured in well, this you, country. Well, then you have to look at the evidence, because I can't... You, you, but you showed me video, and I don't know where it's from. It could be from I anywhere. I can take you into a factory farm and put you, get you suited up and I can take you into any factory farm you select if that's what you wanted to do and you promise to keep it confidential. Aha! Confidential! No, no, <laughs> confidential. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get, not, not what you see because you can film the whole thing, film yourself in there. I mean, how we get into the place and things like that. Uh, so you're... Because so you're, um, we're see, trespassing. We have to correct. trespass. That, uh, they, protect, they protect these places because they know something bad happens in there. Yeah, but they also protect the places because you're going to film things and put them out of context. How do you take that stuff out of context, the gas chamber? Come on. Because I don't know where you got it from. Do you think gas chambers are bad? Gas chambers. I don't think CO2 does that to an animal. It probably just puts you to sleep. Maybe that's a little bit of a research point. I can tell you what it does, if you, but you might not believe me, but you can just look into the evidence for that. I don't know how you fo form your beliefs because there's nothing about gas chambers in the Bible so you have to use science at some point. Yeah, I mean we could just go back to just slitting their throats like we used to. I think that would be a good idea. Do you think, do you think that's uh, consistent with Jesus' values, slitting throats? Um, if they're um, an animal that you're going to eat, sure. Yeah, because they know, need to be bled. Slitting throats causes immense suffering to animals. No, they die pretty quickly. No, they don't. It takes a minute. Yeah, uh, um, RSPCA I investigated this. They, they, that's why they don't do non... They don't... Um, they don't give a accreditation to non-stun halal slaughter. Oh, that's true, stun. So, stun them. But it, it doesn't, doesn't mention stun guns in the Bible. Yeah, but it mentions stun guns now. So why are you, why are you talking... No, it doesn't mention stun guns in the <laughs> Bible. So what are you talking about? Using technology now to go again, away, away from God. Well, I'm saying that back then they used to slit their throats. And, and now we and have a better way. Suffering. And we now have a better way of using stun guns. So we should use so that. You're saying we should evolve with the times and be more ethical? Um, I think we're always trying to be ethical. Are we, should we evolve with the times and be more ethical? In, I think that's what they're already that's what you doing That's Because stun guns aren't in the Bible. What's that got to but do with But veganism anything? is in the Bible. You know that, right? No. Yeah, because Where? the Garden of Eden and then, and then God's perfect paradise will be when say... the lamb lies down with the lion. Yeah. Not when the lamb gets their throat slit by you. Yeah, but that's in heaven we don't pan. eat. Is slaughter, are there slaughterhouses in, in heaven? But in heaven we don't eat. There, we don't need to. Are there animals being, being so? So we don't need to eat animals. So what are you talking about? But we need to eat animals here. No, you don't. I'm well, okay, proof. that's true. You don't need to, but I've chosen to eat them. Yeah, it's a choice. Exactly, it's a choice. Right. And now, who's making this choice? I am. Or is it your taste preferences? Because that's pleasure. No, it's not my taste preferences. It's my um, health. It's my okay, health. Okay, well, the science. So at one point, some point, you're going to have to go with the science. I used to be a vegetarian, and I, and it didn't work for me. Yeah, I mean that's a cop out because we're talking about animals so. being decapitated here. So that's fine. maybe I don't, doing I don't, due diligence. I, I don't have a problem with that though. <laughs> and I don't think that's what Jesus would say to me, hey. I honestly don't. I, I think Jesus would say that you're um, maybe focusing on the wrong things and you should focus on God instead and then the Lord will tell you what How to do. How do you do. know God's not working through me right now? Because you've just said you're not baptised. <laughs> oh, well she's baptised, she's an animal rights activist too and she believes the same <laughs> things I do. So that just wrecks your argument. You know how I'm many? Oh, are you? Oh, do you great. know how many Christians there are? Are you Catholic or Protestant? One cent. One cent. I don't know, but I was baptized as a baby. So. Oh, and were you confirmed? Yeah. So you're saying that anyone who's not a Catholic is doesn't have God working through them. So God. So there's a I bunch think, of creatures on earth that are I not think, God's people. I, I think everyone can respond to the call of the Lord, but it's it makes it a lot easier if you're baptized and confirmed. So are you making rules for God now? He's speaking for God. No, Jesus said it. Okay. Jesus said, be baptized, otherwise the Lord won't work through well, you. You have to be baptized to wash yourselves of original sin. Because then the original sin stays and the devil gets to you. I thought we're all sinners, no matter Correct. what we do. So well, how do you no, wash away sins? Because you get baptized. And, okay. then, and then you might sin again, which means you have to go to confession. I can come and get baptized with you right now, and then we can continue this conversation. You can't get baptized right now. It takes a year for catechesis. What does that mean? It means they teach you everything you need to know about God to make sure that you're making the right choice. <laughs> oh, so, you, so you're judging people and restricting who can be baptised under God? No, we, when God makes no, that decision, no, doesn't we, he? No, we want to make sure that you're educated, so you that was know... That's not part of God's way, is it? I thought, we, all of it, I thought we're all God's people. Um, in, 
In this the... is very bizarre, this religion. That no, you no, have. no, no, no. Back in the day, let's rewind a thousand years, two thousand years. Being religious was something that people just were. And they learnt about God all the time. And it's something we don't do anymore. And so when you're suggesting that we are withholding God from you because we need you to jump through hoops. Yeah, exactly. A, a thousand years ago, you didn't I'm willing have to be to. baptized right now and but, you, you're denying me baptism. No, I'm saying And then I'll continue can, the we, conversation. We can, we can speak to a priest and he'll get you catechism classes and then in about so a I year you can get... I classes to get baptized. What about children? Yeah. They don't have cl classes when they're yes, baptized. Yes, but they're, um, they're represented by their godparents. And then, and then we send them so to school. So if I get my godparents to co contact And then their it. parents teach them about God and the Bible. Okay. And, and, and they spend... And if they don't get taught about God after they've been baptised, they're already clear of sin? Then they, will, they, lose sin, their sin. they will sin. And then their souls won't be pure and they're well, going to get in trouble. You're sinning right now, in my opinion. You're, you're committing the ultimate sin. Thou shalt not murder. But um, that only, re that only um, applies to humans. <laughs> Who said that? God. That's not on the tablets. What tablets? They didn't say only humans. Yeah, but it, it, their rules for humans applied to each other. Okay, you can murder an animal, literally. But I don't think you're murdering the animal. I think you're slaughtering it to, to kill it. <laughs> I don't think I'm murdering a human. I think I'm slaughtering them to eat them. See how crazy that sounds? Well, that does sound crazy. Exactly. Because cannibalism is, is that's not nice. Why isn't it not? Why isn't it nice? You eat <laughs> tortured animals. Because and animals and, and human beings are different. They have different um, awareness. We're made of flesh. We have brains. We have hearts. Yes, we have... We're talking about the higher consciousness and the lower consciousness. Yeah. Self-awareness. Babies and... are lower consciousness. So... No, they're not. Yes, they, they have are. higher awareness. No, they are. They are not. They don't have developed brains. I didn't of have a developed brain since I was, you know, you have your adolescence, you, know, you go oh, from oh, yeah, that's you're true. a baby, you're that's an true. infant, when you get come out of your mother, you don't have a developed brain. So they have lower consciousness. So can I eat babies? Of course not. This is a bad argument because it applies to humans too, your argument. So you're, you're equating, no. you want animals and humans to have equity? No, I never said that. I said I'm comparing the things we have in common, which can compare any two things. I never said we're equal in every way. You have two arms, animals tend to have legs. And a little snorty nose, little pink snorty nose, and they scream for their lives because of your choices. That I'm trying to, I'm trying to um, have these conversations with Christians because they speak a lot of love and compassion and yeah. respect which is all lip service, unless you actually apply it. Again, I don't know where the footage comes from, and these... Yeah, the devil put it there to stop you eating tortured pigs. Like, come on, use your, use your, con use your heart. I, 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 believe, I believe these farmers love their animals, and I don't think that they would do anything why are they to selling torture their them. Why are they selling their body parts if they love because them? The, because they're, they're farmers, and that's what they why do. Why don't they farm uh, non-sentient life forms like potatoes instead of chopping animals' heads off and selling them for profit? Because I think it's legitimate to farm animals. To sell animal bo body yeah. parts without getting their consent for profit is love. Is loving the animals. I think, I think farmers have a lot of love for their animals. Okay. They're in an industry where they're providing food for the population. It's a needless and, product that and, causes immense suffering. And the, the animal is bred exclusively to be eaten, and if it wasn't eaten, it wouldn't exist. It's an it's a interesting philosophical if it question. If wasn't for your parents, you wouldn't exist. Does that give your parents carte blanche to chop your head off whenever they want? Well, that would be thou shalt not murder. But they have lower consciousness babies. But, but, you know what I'm saying? But you're what if they're not baptised? Can I kill a non-baptised baby? But you're confusing my point, is, is, is the philosophical question of you're trying to save the lives of animals that would not exist if they weren't going to be killed. I, would, I, I don't think it's ethical to bring animals into the existence hmm. to enslave them against their will for the sole purpose of decapitating no them in a slaughterhouse. They have no will. A devil's factory, right? Just so I can eat their body parts like a little sadist because I want their flesh in my mouth. You know, I ate their body parts for 26 years, one of the most disgusting things I ever did. And I was a gang member. Oh. Before I got sober, before I started thinking about animal rights, but I haven't always been this way. Um, I'm happy for you. That's, yeah. that's a great story, actually. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what type of life you've led or whether you've seen the light or whether you're born, born Christian mm. or born Catholic or... So, so you had a difficult childhood and um, you're using your activism to sort of make up for all the things that you lost in your youth. I saw a very big issue that no one cared about, like yourself, you don't care about it. You said that to me about 25 minutes ago and I'm trying to help people oh understand gosh. why they should care. I think you have a great passion and will to do good in the world. And I think that's brilliant. And I think, 
I know, I, you know. Why I, do you think it's good what I'm doing? Why do you think it's good? Because you don't care about animals, you don't care if they're tortured? Because it's giving Why is it good? It should be morally it's, neutral to you. It's, it's giving you such hope and such life and such vitality. And it's so lovely to see because you said you used to be a gang member and you were living on the wide path and you're trying to make your path more narrow. And I would love for you to find God um, in your work. How do you know I haven't found God? Because... How do you know God wasn't the reason I got pulled out of that gang life, started thinking about animals... Was it? And he bestowed me with some... Uh, you know, clarity, and I started stop. I stopped being a violent person. I started thinking, wh where else can I stop being violent? And so that's the most violent thing I do, actually. That's I've brilliant. never done that to people. Yeah, know? yeah, that's so, brilliant. Yeah. I actually liked your story very much. Yeah. So, so you were violent to people, and to make up for it, you've stopped your violence and you're exp expanding that non violence, to that animals. non violent culture for the same animals. principles, but based on logic, empathy, compassion, and my yeah. God given conscience. So, I think, yeah, I think the way. You, you have um, a lot of bravado, a lot yeah. of testosterone. That can be pretty intense. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. you felt that. But <laughs> oh, you no, too. No. But you're a good. You're, you know, you stuck. You stuck there with me. I was. I was waiting for you to walk off because it's an uncomfortable conversation. I think you're brilliant. Um, I, you know, if I could recommend, you should come back here Maybe. at 5 p.m. To listen to Vespers and Adoration and just listen to the beautiful music because I think maybe God is calling you Maybe. to something. Um, full of joy and hope because we've been speaking to each other. It hasn't been antagonistic, I don't think, um, or too much. It hasn't been so comfortable, but these conversations never are. Um, but I think, I think you could have even more joy, Maybe. even more hope in your life. Maybe I could. And um, I'm open to that. You should. You know, you, I am you, open. You should totally come. All, all three of you guys, come 5 p.m. Come here to listen to the beautiful music and just sit do. in peace and listen to whatever God is telling you. Um, we're both going to disagree. We're going to have to agree to disagree. Okay. Um, I love your passion. I think you have a brilliant story. I think you should... Has, has he told his story on your channel? Of course I have. Oh, brilliant. To millions of people. But, brilliant. And, uh, yeah, well, I mean, it, I, one, I hope one day we can agree that animals deserve... Peace, Listen, compassion, respect. I, I think, you know? I, in my opinion, that they are respected. Um, and if there are any um, industry standards that you disagree with that need to be corrected, I agree that you should go out there and, and change that with legislation and um, through your local member. But um, at the same time, we shouldn't sensationalise. And if people choose to eat meat, um, it should be their choice. Just like I'm not going to force you to you eat meat. You have free will. You do against... have free will. That's correct. You, yeah. I'm not so forcing exactly. you to eat meat. Exactly. So it's a choice. It's a conscious choice that yeah. you're making to yeah, do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why I'm trying to just but help I, you but understand I, something. You I know hope that, that you, you don't be... equate. I hope you don't equate my decision to eat um, animals that have been farmed with my being violent. And my my um, with me being violent and um, inhumane and cold. murderous. I think it is cold, uh, in, not compassionate. It's not loving at all. I think it's based on but selfish desires but for you're flesh. But you're accusing you're accusing me of being not loving, being well, um, non. Outside of this, you sound you feel like a very nice person. But this mm. is the most violent thing you do. It was the most violent thing I was doing. Remember that realization I have yeah, every yeah, yeah. single thing I'm saying to you. I had the same conversation yeah. with myself. Hard conversation. Yeah. Again, I'm going to have to disagree okay. because we're on different paths and we've had different experiences mm -hmm. in life. I think the Lord has called you to this yeah. in order to find some balance. What's but, your um, calling? My calling. I'd love to get married. Okay. <laughs> and get have married. a family. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, uh, and what would you teach your children about animals? I would teach my children to, to respect animals okay. and um, that there is a, a cycle, a life cycle, and that we have a great tradition and culture uh, developed over thousands of years of animal husbandry, um, of that animal signs. Is a bit, bit of a euphemism, husbandry. Sorry, what was Husbandry that? sounds like a nice word. Yeah, <laughs> but that's what they are. They're, they're... It's trickery. I disagree. Again, okay. you still got that little bit of, of anger underneath the surface. Of course. Um, people, when people say husbandry, when you show them the most graphic, violent, torturous footage they've ever seen, probably, mm. they would never want to experience it. And people say, it's just husbandry. That there is a <laughs> demonic euphemism used to take something that is horrible mm. and paint it with a nice, polite, happy brush. This is what uh, mm. propaganda is. I think, I think the issue maybe with the um, food industry in general is that um, this... <sighs> Maybe, maybe the issue is that there's too much of it. That maybe it's something that we take for granted a bit too much and that we need to educate people where their food comes from. Well, I tried to. You didn't believe me. 
Yes, I don't know where the footage is from. So I, I know farmers. Um, so do who, I. Who, who keep animals, and um, yeah. and I I'm don't, not talking about keeping animals per I se, but most animals are factory think... farm. Ask them where they send their animals and go take a trip in there. Yeah. Go walk through. Yeah, Tell yeah, me what yeah. it feels. I've been in plenty of slaughterhouses actually. Mm. I, I think I think there's been a concerted effort over over many years to make sure that animals are treated as well as you possible. Think? I think so. Okay. I think so because you know you go to the supermarket and it says free range on That's your egg. Carton. Trickery! You're falling for <laughs> deception. Do you know what deception is? Yes, I do. And who does deception? Is that Jesus's work? No, deception? No, no, no. Who does deception? It's true. It's true. It's the devil's work, and it's a. It's a, if it, if they're lying, then they have to. How answer are you going to find that out if I, if you can't even listen to someone showing you evidence? You can find more. Would you look for evidence, making sure you're not falling for the devil's work? Would you or would you just go? You know what? I'm just going to fall for traditions and deceptions and trickery and go on eating out of the devil's factory. But I don't know where you've gotten the footage from. It could be from Why a different country. Why don't you look into it? But then they, then they have evidence, they have timestamps, they have um, maps. They have these places completely mapped out. If you really wanted to find out if you're being deceived by the devil, yeah. if you believe in demonic forces, then that would be exactly where I would look. Mm. Well, I would say that if they, if they are lying, then that is, that is a sin. Obviously, against the uh, Ten Commandments, thou shalt not lie. Um, thou shalt not bear false witness, rather. Um, what is a false witness? Isn't it a false? Is it a false witness to God or just? Oh, sorry. Uh, thou shalt not bear false witness. Bear false um, um, it's, so, it's when you lie about something you've seen. Okay. So how are you coming to the realization that um, animals have no self-awareness? Because that's do you have just, evidence for that? That's just that they just have no higher. Yeah, but faculty I, of, of yeah, consciousness but I'm just yeah but you're saying that yeah maybe not higher but like they do have consciousness you do agree because I just want to get I want to push you off that position because it's, oh, it's but you're not going to because it's what you're trying to posit is incorrect okay okay because I was just talking about being bearing false witness and you're spitting a lot of false facts that's all I don't about agree about animals but that's cool cool because you don't have to but you could be espousing things that are like deceiving other humans as well about the, the value yeah, animals but, have uh, but if, if I believe it to be true, then it's not a sin. Yeah, but you can be, be deceived and that is yeah, but then the that, devil. Then that's not my sin, that's the sin of the person who deceived me. Yeah, but now you know. Now I've made it your awareness. But so I don't think you have made me aware. I think you're trying to trick me. Okay. Yeah. That could be the, that could be like, <laughs> that, that doesn't sound consistent with like what I'm trying to help you understand. Because I've got, you know, I'm defending beings that can't speak for themselves, right? You can scream and they, he can scream if something happens. I can scream, I can protest. Chickens can't do anything against us. So who's going to speak for them? Now, if you think that's the devil asking you to, to look after little birds, mm. who was that? Who was the, 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 um, the guy, Saint, um, the guy who looked after the animals? Uh, I think uh, St. Francis? St. Francis of Assisi. Okay. And do you believe he was one of God's um, people? Was St. Francis someone that your Pope, or, do you have Pope, sorry, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm, or I'm, or? I, I had breakfast a long time ago. I'm Saints, a little bit okay. fatigued. No worries. We've been talking for a really long time, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, St. Francis, look him up. He was one of I, your, I, 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 I don't I know, know if he was Saint Catholic. Francis, I, was he Catholic? Oh yes, absolutely. Okay, he started did he the care Franciscan for Order. He cared for everything and everyone. Yeah, yeah. He started the Including Franciscan animals. Order. Okay, maybe that's something that might you might trust a little more than just some mm. rando off the street. But I appreciate your time. You don't have to shake my hand. I appreciate you staying so long with an intense yeah, conversation. Yeah. I'm just getting a little bit dehydrated. <laughs> I do this all the time. I get yeah. so tired. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, it's adrenaline. It's all those things. Absolutely. But I hope you maybe you go get some water and you know maybe you won't think about all this. But I'm definitely going to think about what you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And come back for five o'clock. Yeah. And maybe. We're gonna have some lovely music. And I, I think I think what the Lord has called you to do. If, if that's what you're doing to find some balance in your life, um, I think it's brilliant and congratulations. Bless you. God bless, bless you. you. Yeah, God, God bless, bless you. you.